Now, before I get started with this video about Fabinho, I want to apologise because this is definitely the messiest transfer of the summer. You know, Alvaro Morata is a little bit frustrating because it's been very much delayed. Cristiano Ronaldo is just plain annoying. Nemanja Matic seems to be moving quite quickly. Ivan Perisic is definitely a little bit delayed, but Fabinho is messy. And thanks to reports last night from Duncan Castles, it's got a little bit messier. What I want to do here is explain everything that's gone on and why apparently PSG are now leading the race for Fabinho, not Manchester United. Now, Duncan Castles has stayed relatively quiet throughout this whole transfer window. As we know, or if you don't know, Duncan Castles is very much the mouthpiece of Jorge Mendes. Whenever Mourinho was manager of Chelsea, Duncan Castles loved nothing more than ribbing and trolling United fans on Twitter. It was his favourite pastime. When Mourinho moved to Manchester United, that stopped. And all he did was support Manchester United. So he very much, as I said, is a mouthpiece of Mendes. So anything to do with United, he's got his own sources. So he can't ignore what he's had to say. Now he is reporting that PSG are close to signing Fabinho and not Manchester United. Now, of course, this is not the first time that PSG's name have been linked to Fabinho. On the 22nd of June, Fabrizio Romano, we all know he's part of Gianluca Di Marzio's staff, he said that Fabinho had an offer from Manchester United and PSG. And then only four days later, RMC, very reliable French source, they have said that PSG are in talks with Monaco over Fabinho. So as I said, it's not the first time that PSG's name have come up. And of course it was going to come up because Monaco won the French League last year. They knocked PSG off their little throne that they had perch themselves on thanks to the oil money that came into their pockets. Now, PSG want that back. What better way to weaken your opposition by signing one of their best players? Now, the general consensus around France is that Monaco wouldn't sell one of their best players to a direct rival in the league. They sold Bernardo Silva to Manchester City. That's across the pond. They're going to sell Bakayoko to Chelsea. That's across the pond. I don't think they want to sell Fabinho to PSG, but the suggestion here from Duncan Castles is that they are closing in on a deal for him. Which, of course, throws another spanner into the works because Gianluca Di Marzio only a few days ago said that Manchester United had offered 50 million euros for Fabinho. Substantial, substantial bid. And that Fabinho was going to be making his way to Old Trafford. At least that's what it looked like. And now we've got Duncan Castles, on the other hand, saying that PSG are leading the race for him. And it's it's, it's maddening, it really is, trying to keep on top of it all. And I apologise, as I said, that there's so many twists and turns, but it is the nature of transfers, especially when it comes to Manchester United. We're linked with so many players. Every single year, we get a transfer saga, at least one of them. It very much looks like Fabinho is that player this year. As I've said, I don't think we can completely dismiss what Castles has to say on this matter. But Gianluca Di Marzio, who we trust very much, is saying that Man United have made that big offer, but has that offer come in slightly too late? From a lot of your frustrations that we've seen in the comments and frustrations everywhere, Man United dithering and delaying their move for Fabinho has probably allowed PSG this opportunity. Had we gone in early this summer with a 50 million euro offer, we would have already signed Fabinho. But with the Alvaro Morata transfer going on, the Ronaldo stuff causing distractions, Ivan Perisic very much dragging out, Victor Lindelof didn't cause any problems, that was nice and quick. But all the others, they're messy. And it, it's last year we didn't have messy transfers, well apart from Paul Pogba obviously, but we were swift with Mkhitaryan, Ibrahimovic and Bai. Now Ibrahimovic obviously had his own circus as well, but that was slightly irrelevant, it was clear the deal was done. This summer we moved quickly for Lindelof, but the rest, they're all slow, they're all getting dragged out, United are getting I don't know, not outpriced, but clubs just want more money from us because we're Man United. But that's not different this year. Ed Woodward knew that was going to be the case. It's just this delay and delay and delay in moving for Fabinho, a player who on paper ticks so many boxes as to a position that we desperately need to strengthen. Fans are frustrated that that deal hasn't already been pushed over the line and that it's let someone like PSG come in and throw their name into the mix and throw a spanner into the works. The general feeling around Man United earlier this week was that a couple of deals could get pushed over the line. And I still hope that is going to be the case. You know, it's only Thursday. We've still got a few days left before the end of the week. But Man United this summer, 
It's painful. It always is painful in the transfer window. This one in particular with Fabinho, because after Damasio said that we are putting a 50 million euro offer, that felt like the moment where the saga turned to Manchester United's advantage. Everything was moving in the right direction. Now, hopefully Duncan Castles is wrong in what he's saying here, but if he's right, PSG has swooped. They've put their name into the mix and complicated the situation. But are you still confident that Fabinho is going to be our man this summer? Or do you think we are going to end up only signing Nemanja Matic as our defensive midfield option? Let me know in the comments what you think about this. As I said one last time, I'm going to apologise because all we're doing is covering the news as objectively as we can. But unfortunately, in the transfer market, you get twists and turns, you get U-turns, you get frustrations. And I understand that. I appreciate that. I get really frustrated as well. But I just hope these videos are helping you keep on top of what these rumours are, who to trust, who is reliable, where are these sources coming from. I hope it's given you a little bit of insight into that. And as I said, I really do hope that Fabinho still signs. But do you think he will? Let me know in the comments below. As always, ladies and gents, Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And we'll see you tomorrow with some hopefully better updates, I suppose. Take it easy.